Hello guys, what is up? It kind of looks like I'm not wearing a shirt, but I swear I am. And today I'm going to be telling you guys a story time about what happened to me on the 4th of July. If you follow my fan account, you probably saw the tweets and I was freaking out to be honest. But this story, I wasn't sure if it's okay if I post it or if I could get in like legal trouble for posting it, but like... I've asked people and everyone has told me that they think it's fine so I wrote down the whole thing of what happened because people were texting me and asking me and I would just copy and paste it and send it to them okay so this all began last Tuesday we were at this lake lighting off fireworks with a few friends it was my cousin her friend these two guys and three other girls that we hadn't met before. The guys were lighting off fireworks and then we lit off this one really big one. Mind you, we were on like this easement thing, which is like a little dock, if you don't know what that is, like boats and stuff, and it was on a lake. And it's not legal for you to light fireworks off of that dock. And also it was two in the morning, so noise complaints, yeah. One of our friends, we can call him Alfred. <laughs> his name's Alfred okay so Alfred lit a firework and then a cop drove by right when he lit it and his other friend we can call him we can call him Roger okay so Roger like yelled at Alfred who was like don't light the firework because the cop was just driving up and it had already happened and then it went off right when the cop drove up and the cop walked out and he like walked down to us, he had this big flashlight and we all sat on a bench just like in a line just sitting there just like oh my god like our hands crossed just sitting like it's fine it's fine and we weren't sure if we could be on our phones we were like oh my god like are we gonna get in trouble because I wanted to text people and like say what was happening like live tweet this shit but I didn't because I was scared anyways Alfred and well <laughs> I said his name Alfred and Roger the cop like approached them first and they're like we can take the blame it's fine we will take the blame he was like okay well we have to talk to everyone here because you guys aren't allowed to be here and also there's a curfew the curfew in that lake area was like midnight but where i live it's one in the morning mind you it was two in the morning so that doesn't even matter then they got everyone's full name and birthdays and just so they could have it or whatever and another cop came down and he was like okay we'll be right back and then i heard him say like arrest and i was like uh like what what are you talking about and then i was just like literally freaking out my cousin's friend was literally having a panic attack and i was like oh my god like i felt so bad she was being quiet but like she's freaking out they ended up writing roger and alfred like 300 dollars tickets for the fireworks and everything and they confiscated the rest of the fireworks and the ones out of his trunk so there was that the three other girls weren't minors so they were allowed to just leave and then we had to wait because we were minors when the three girls left my cousin's friend just like walked away with them because he was saying that they could go like motioning to her also but she was underage and she thought she'd have to call her parents but her parents would have been so mad her dad's like in the military like he would have been super upset so she didn't call him and she just literally left with those girls and the cop didn't even notice he was just like Okay, yeah, see you guys later. Yeah, you can go. They forgot about her, forgot about her age. Geniuses? So I called my dad, he was not answering, and then the cop called my dad, and we were just waiting, and my cousin was allowed to leave with me because my dad is her uncle, and so we were gonna, like, leave when he got there. He wasn't answering, and then the cop was like, okay, well, it's fine, we'll just take you to this city, and it was, like, an hour away, and he's like, and you can just stay in that juvie for the night. And I was like, um, I think that's probably not a good idea. I think I'm good. Like, literally sucked because my car was right there. And I was like, I can just leave. Like, why can't I leave? But they kept saying that, like, my cousin couldn't leave, but I could leave. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, that makes sense because I have a car and she doesn't and the car's in my name or whatever. But that's not what they thought. They were confused. Severely confused. We finally got a hold of my dad and he was coming down to meet us to pick up my cousin. And then one of the cops is talking to us and my cousin was like, wait, why can she leave but I can't leave? And he's like, oh, because you're like 18 or 19, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I am. And then he was like, yeah, see, that's why she's not a minor. And I was just like, mm, yeah, okay. And I just waited with my cousin until my dad got there. And then I left. I drove away. It's like, okay, first off, they forgot a person and let her leave. And then second off, they forgot my age and let me leave. <laughs> but like literally forgot my age. So that's nice. <laughs> perks of having good makeup skills to make you look 10 years older than you are <laughs> yeah that's how i 
almost got arrested on 4th of July. I ended up getting home at like 5 in the morning. It was pretty insane. I don't know, but yeah. Stay safe, kids. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time in my next video next week. I'll see you later. Bye.